In this video, we're gonna cover all of your common questions or all the questions that we received about this GE Profile microwave. So if you haven't already seen the video on this microwave, we're gonna have a link to that video here where you can go and check that out. But otherwise, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as far as how loud the microwave is, this is how loud it is in our kitchen right now. Okay, so about 36. I'm gonna go ahead and put something in the microwave. We're gonna cook some popcorn. We're gonna see how loud it is in the microwave running. And then if we go back to where we were, we're about 47. So it's not very, it's really not that loud. So as far as how loud this is, when it beeps, okay, so that's the default setting. So it's not super loud, but it's loud enough to where you can hear it. All right, so as far as seeing what's in the microwave, um, there's a lot of reflection on here. So I, I can't really avoid that, but you can kind of see inside the microwave. So it's not super bright, but you can at the same time see really what's going on inside. Um, so yeah, that's about how bright it is inside of the microwave when something's cooking. Minus my like, you know, overly emphasized reflection because of the camera. Okay, so another question is how loud is this fan uh, at the different levels? So let's go ahead and see that here. So the normal level of volume is again about 36. So let's go ahead and turn on the vent fan. That's low. That's medium. That's high. And that's boost. And that's off. All right, so how the door opens and closes. There's basically like a little indentation over here where you can put your hand and then it just swings all the way open here. And then, so basically the whole front moves, but it's pretty solid. So we don't have any complaints about that. Another question was whether or not the keypad has a backlight so you can see it in the dark. And in fact, none of the buttons have a backlight. So in the dark, you're not gonna be able to see anything except for this uh, LCD display on the front. Another question, whether or not the Chef Connect feature automatically turns off the fan and light uh, when you turn off the cooktop? And the answer to that is yes. And it depends too on how you have it set up. You can have it set up to where the uh, vent fan and the light don't turn on and off based off the cooktop. You can also have it set up to where only one of those two will turn on and off. Okay, so this is how this works. We turn on the burner here, and then it sets to automatically turn on the lights underneath on the microwave. So that's what we have our setup. We don't have it set up to turn on the vent fan, but you can certainly do that as well. All right, so on the settings here, um, basically once you go to setting, I think it's four, light sync, five is vent fan sync, and then six is sync auto off. And so those are your settings in order to uh, control how the microwave behaves if you have a Chef Connect oven. All right, and we had another question about whether or not this profile microwave has a convention bake and broil option too. Um, we actually don't have a model that has that feature, but I know with GE appliances, they have a lot of different models with a lot of different features. So just because this one doesn't have it doesn't mean there aren't other GE microwaves, uh, different models or submodels, I guess you could say, that have those features included, but ours does not. So one question was how hard is it to change the light bulb? And actually there's two light bulbs uh, underneath here and all you have to do is remove this cover with the screw and then you can pull the light bulb out. It's a really easy process and we'll actually have a link in the description to the actual uh, PDF from GE explaining everything that you have to do in order to change the light bulb. Now as far as the light bulb on the inside of the microwave, it's a little bit more complicated. You actually have to take out the, um, oh, this is like a, an air filter up here. You have to actually pull this out uh, in order to be able to access where the light bulb is up top. So it's a lot harder to get to, um, but that's how you would get to it is you would go through this uh, vent filter up at the top right above the microwave. And this is actually behind uh, the door itself. So you have to open the door in order to get to this access port here. And I guess the biggest question of all is whether or not we like the microwave, if we're happy with our decision, and you know if we'd buy one again. And I have to say the answer to that question is yes, we really like the microwave. Uh, it's been really good for us. We haven't had any problems with it. I know there were some comments that were left about the uh, previous video that said some people had some issues with uh, this appliance, with this microwave, and actually with GE appliances in general, but overall our experience with GE, GE has been absolutely fine. So yes, we would purchase this 
Again, we might go with a different model, but other than that, uh, it's been a good purchase for us. All right, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like it if you found it helpful. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.